Hi Grade 7s and welcome to our virtual tour. I'm Mr Hansel, your Dean of Grade 8s and I'm going to be looking after you next year when you come to the college. Right now I'm going to introduce you to your Grade Tutors. They're the ones that are going to be looking after you next year. So these are your Grade Tutors, Miss Mayette and Good Mr morning. Swartz. Good morning everyone. Good morning, I'm Miss Mayette. I'll be your Grade Tutor next year. I'm looking forward to meeting you and working with you next year. Have a good day. Hi guys, I'm Mr Swart. Really looking forward to meeting you guys next year and uh, yeah, enjoy the day. Great, thanks guys. So as I said, those are your great tutors. They're the ones that you can go to whenever there are any problems, to find out any information, and they're basically your mom and dad in the college. So you can literally go to them whenever you need help. I'm now going to introduce you to Miss Becker, who's in charge of our executive board. Hi Grade Sevens! It's so nice to virtually meet you. I'm so excited to meet you in person next year when you join our family. I'm Miss Becker, as Mr. Hansel said, and I'm in charge of the judiciary and the executive body, what you guys know as the prefix. This group is such an awesome, dynamic group that is going to lead you and help you through your grade eight year. So let's meet them. This is Kura. Hi, Kura. Hello, guys. Um, my name is Kura. As you heard, I'm basically going to be your virtual tour guide. I'm going to be taking you all the places. You're going to see a lot of tons of places in the high school. We're going to start off by the art department, where we're going to meet Alice and we're going to meet Caleb. And they're out here working. Let's, run, let's see what they're doing. What do, you, what do you mean you're here already? But I'm not ready. It's not, it's not finished. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I wasn't really prepared for you to come so soon. But let me show you our amazing matric artworks. They're incredible. They're literally beyond talented. You wouldn't even believe it. Caleb, while you were busy, I decided to draw a Well, as you can see, there's room for everyone, I guess. <laughs> what is that smell? Uh, turpentine. You get used to it. Oh, no, I won't. Let me get out of here. Oh. You know, art is uh, subjects for some, but it's not for everybody, like he said. But art was a cool subject. I remember when I was in grade eight, it was super fun because you're with your friends, you're drawing stickman, if you mean. Others were drawing cars and all a bunch of fancy things. I honestly wish I was super creative because I would be like the next funk off or something, you know? But now, we go to Miss Becker's classroom. Here you're gonna be with Kayla, Morgan, Mia, Tyler Johnson, and Zanadia. I'm gonna tell you about all the cool things that happened in Miss Becker's class. Guys, I hope you can keep a secret because Loki, deep down, you think I'm a favorite. But guys, we're not gonna tell anybody that, right? Because you know, it's bad to have favorites whatever. Now we're gonna meet Zanadia. Hey guys, welcome to business. Say hi guys! Hey. So this is Miss Becker's classroom. I'm sure you guys have met her already. One of the best teachers because she lets us play cahoots every Friday. Say hi Miss Becker! Hi! Oh, Tyler's doing something super interesting. Ty, what are you doing? Hey guys, so I'm just finishing up our last package for our charity drive. So basically what happens is every term, each grade gets a different charity drive that they're introducing. And this year we're doing a women's charity drive, so I should probably get back to it. Do you hear that, guys? Get involved. That, that's what happens here. Now we're going to be with Kayla. So Kayla, how's it been being an executive for the past few weeks? So like I said, we've been here for the past few weeks, but it's just been the most amazing experience. This has been something we've worked our entire high school career for, and we've just done everything in our power to be here. We've participated in sports, in the culture, helped out in our service programs, just excelling in our academics and being able to lead a group and have our peers nominate us to be here. So a really fun and exciting way that you can be involved in the school's leadership is through the RCLs program. RCLs have the ability to take any issues presented by the students to teachers who are more than willing and dedicated to help you resolve them. The RCL program is a really fun and exciting way to get involved in the runnings of the school from as early on as grade 8. However, we did not start here. Our high school experience has been an amazing journey. And we are so excited to be your leaders of 2021. We can't wait to see you grow and flourish in your grade eight year. And just remember, we are always here to give you a helping hand if you need us. We won't bite you, trust me. Here are the IT kids, let's see what they're doing. Welcome to the IT class. Here is where the fun, critical thinking and problem solving takes place. In grade eight, you will be focusing on visual block-based programming language. As displayed here, by Siva, who is creating a game on scratch. That will be your main task for grade eight. Moving on to grade nine, you will be introduced to object-oriented programming in Java. Getting used to the IDE and that means 
understanding the basic concepts until you move into the senior phase. In the senior phase, you'll learn more about data phase, data structures and algorithms. Doing complex stuff, real things. Over here, demonstrated by Jared, he is working on an array program, trying to just understand the basics of it. IT is something where you really have to expand your mind and it's a challenge for those who dare to take. So yes, you heard that guys, it is a challenge and it was a challenge for me to understand what he was saying, I'm not even gonna lie. To simplify what Cameron was saying, he was saying in grade 8 and grade 9 you get to make games. And I know there are a lot of epic gamers in this, in this group and I'd love for someone to make the next like, big Fortnite game, the next big Game of Thrones kind of game. I just need a good adventurous game and I, I believe y'all are the group who has the game. Next, we go to the drama department. Yes, the drama department. Here by the drama department, here by the drama department we have Quezzy, we have Caleb again, and we have Amy. They're gonna let you in on some secrets about drama and tips and fun ideas that you're gonna, when you get you, that's the things you're gonna learn. Personally, I don't know too much because I didn't take drama, but in grade eight and nine, I can tell you I had a blast. And I'm gonna have Amy here to tell me why. Drama is such a blast. Hi, welcome to Drama. Here we focus on two main aspects, theory and practical. We go from analyzing plays, discussing important topics, and learning about theater styles, right to performing them on our own stage. Here are two of our students, Quasi and Caleb, rehearsing their piece with Alice doing the AV. What's going on? I think Mr. Hansel is going to love our piece on the struggle between man and nature. Absolutely. Drama yeah. person, am I right? Uh, you could say something like that. Uh, so what makes drama so special then? How much time do you have? Um, about 15, 14 seconds. Okay, well, it like frees your song, man. You know, it allows you to experiment. There's so many different styles, you know, from mime to poetry to physical theater, even musical theater. <laughs> Wow, okay, please, please stop, please stop. I mean, like, it's the vocals for me. What is it for you, Crazy? Oh, it'd really be the expression for me. Finding your sound and being able to express it in ways that are unique to who you are. Guys, the show's about to stop. Guys, you gotta go. There's a show, guys, there's a show, guys. There's a show, guys. Performance, a performance. Right. Uh, break a leg or something? I don't know. Um, so guys, that was the drama department. I told you, it's always fun. Theatricality, deception, it's like, Few of the favorite things you're gonna find here in the high school block. Now we go to EGD. Yeah, at EGD, we're gonna have Cameron, we're gonna have Siva, and they're gonna tell you all about the amazing things that can happen here. And here's Siva to tell you more. Hi guys, my name is Siva, nice to meet you, and welcome to the EGD class. EGD is a very technical subject uh, where um, the mechanical and civil components take place. These drawings can either be done by hand or by a computer-aided drawing, also known as CAD, on the uh, computer. These, uh, with the use of CAD, students will be able to develop their skills, which will then be used for a life beyond school. Students will also be able to um, visualize their projects using a 3D printer, which will also help develop the certain skills for a life beyond school. As you can see in the background there, we have a, 3D, uh, a laser cutter, um, and yeah, and this is the EGD class. EGD, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Siva. You know, we've just found out about EGD. We found out about drama. We've been to the art department. Could I, what department are you missing? Well, of course, you know, we have the experiment side. This is where you find bio and science, and bio is so fun. Then don't forget, you have business. You have geo, you have accounting, you have, you know, for the little advanced ones, we have AP math, known as advanced math. And I'm telling you guys, 
We have six new additional first languages. Six. I didn't even know that. That's a new thing to me. And now we're here in the science department. We're gonna pass to Amy, she's gonna tell you about the experiments. So here we're doing some experiments. The first one we're doing is a, is a physics experiment about electrostatics. See, we're learning about the forces that govern our universe. And the great thing is, we're learning about them while seeing the effects. So we have two science teachers, Mr. Naidu with the U and Mr. Naidu with double O. They are the best science teachers any school could have. They are always there to give you a helping hand if you need it, and they are just amazing. But if physics isn't your thing, we also have chemistry. So here, this is what we like to call the elephant toothpaste experiment. So let's see how that works first. Oh. Now when we're done with that, this is what we call our testers, where we test if it's an acid or a base. And if elephant toothpaste doesn't interest you, we do other cool experiments like stink bombs and blow some things up safely, of course. Here is a mini volcano. Yes guys, that was the science department. We've been through all the departments and now it's time to go to your favorite thing. Oh, cool. your favorite thing for me. What's up my boy? How are you doing? Good evening. Oh, How's grade nine my guy? Grade nine, grade nine is good. It's, it's tough but we we getting there, you know. Oh man, you love to hear it, you love to hear it. You see guys, yeah, you make friends with all grades. I'm in grade eleven, that's my friend Tristan in grade nine. And now I tell I'm telling you, we're going to sports. We start here by netball. Yo, we have Zenadia and we have Tyler Armitage. They're gonna tell you about the cool things that happen here, the teachers, the coaches, and the cool competitions they've been to. Let's see what they're doing. Hello. Hello, Tyler. So, what's so special about netball? Okay, firstly, we have the most amazing coaches. They actually coach at provincial levels. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you're playing for competitively or just for fun, there's a team for you. For example, my team has played competitively since grade 8 and we've gone to hunting championships for three consecutive years in a row. Unfortunately, we couldn't go this year due to COVID, but we're hopeful for next year. And COVID doesn't just have net netball facilities, they also have tennis, here's our boys. And yeah, we, something special to Crawford is that we have a spin-off sport called FOS5. So, what is FOS5? So FOS5 is a fast-paced um, version of netball. You only have five players. This is where you will develop your skills, like for example, where a goal defense will learn how to play a goal attack and vice versa. This is where the real fun happens because you, you put into a new environment. And I like this thing about netball culture. So, Can you tell me what that is about? Yeah, sure. So in netball culture, let's say you have drama during school and stuff. Once you're on the court, it's like you're part of a family. doesn't matter if you're the best or worst player. You always have someone supporting you. And when we go to over away games and tournaments, we're always singing and cheering in the bus. It's just a whole nother vibe. Talking about vibes, guys, I'm about to take you guys through an amazing vibe. Let's say we're going to an away game. And this is the type of environment you're gonna have inside the bus. So I'm here with a few of my friends and I'm gonna teach you guys a new war cry right now. And I hope by the time you come next year, you, you know it off the top of your head. So it basically goes like, Reds, get out of your mind. Reds, get out of your mind. Reds, get out of your mind. Crawford, Reds, get out of your mind. Reds, get out of your mind. Reds, get out of your mind. Reds. Get out of your mind, Crawford Reds, get out of your mind, Reds! Get out of your mind, Reds! Get out of your mind, Reds! Get out of your mind, Crawford Reds, get out of your mind, Reds! Get out of your mind, Reds! Get out of your mind, Reds! Get out of your mind, Crawford Reds, get out of your mind, Reds! Get out of your mind! 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 You're no longer gonna hear no who share, who ra, who nothing. Because I'm sure you're even sick and tired of it. Don't get me started on me. I've had so much time to create new war cries. 
I can even create on the spot. That's how much time, like, that's how you adapt when you get to high school. Like right now, I'm gonna teach you guys another war cry. So it starts off as, we ready, we ready, we ready for ya. And it goes, we ready, we ready, uh, we ready for ya. You go louder. We ready, uh, uh, we ready, uh, we ready for ya. This one's a top secret one, okay? This one's top secret. This one we're all gonna learn together next year. I just literally thought of it right now. So I'm gonna be like, who's got my back? And you guys are gonna be like, I got your back. I'm gonna be like, who's got my back? I got your back. Who's got my back? I got your back. Who's got my back? I got your back. Who's got that swag? We got that swag. Who's got the swag? We got the swag. Who's got the swag? We got the swag. So guys, now we're gonna meet the hockey players they're gonna tell you all about the hockey starting with morgan morgan please let Thank us know thanks Pilla. hi guys today i'm gonna talk to you guys about one of the best sports here at crawford ramsa which is hockey and one of the best one of the best reasons why it's the best sport is because of our amazing turf and as you can see our players are playing so we really do have the results to back up why it is one of the best sports. We have five provincial players in all our teams and two national players. All our teams qualify for NOFL every year and we play in some of the best tournaments in Joburg. But Shan, why do you think hockey is one of the best sports? <laughs> I think it's one of the best sports just being part of a team, being in that environment where your teammates back you on and off the field no matter what they got your back. Um, another thing that I love about hockey is just the life lessons that you learn and that you can take and use in other areas of your life, um, being teamwork, time management, discipline. But obviously out of the three, time management is definitely the most important because you need to be balancing school and hockey. Um, but not only hockey because there are other sports. So hockey isn't an all year round thing. So basically in the off season you need to try, do some versatile training, which basically means participating in some other sports. And maybe you're even finding a sport you're passionate about. So speaking about other sports, here's Kura again with the cricket. Hello guys, so yes, there's the hockey at the back. I mean, we spoke about the hockey. Now, my favorite, we're speaking about cricket. We've had multiple players who go to the Johannesburg West team. We have Manny, which is like one of our inspirations, one of our many players that's always getting to the Lions squad. And I mean, there's rugby, rugby. Stefan, who was here previously before, once made it to the Craven Week. We have a young player, Kukri Javi, He's made it to the JP Fest. And I mean, there's athletics. Did I, did I tell you guys that for athletics in the house, we actually go to the stadium? Like, it's not at school anymore. We actually go to the stadium. And I'm sure you guys must be looking forward to that. All of you can come with your spikes, you can all run. But now, we go to the summer favorite sport. Most people believe this sport is the one. Swimming, who does not love to swim? I mean, it's hot, you finish your school day, you're extremely tired and you can come and get a fresh, fresh, fresh water. Let's see what our swimmers are doing now. Let's talk to Mia, one of the swimmers on the team. Hi guys, how are you? Um, the reason why I swim is because I've always had a love and a passion for swimming since I was a little girl. The advantages of swimming have to be that it works every muscle in your body. And when I say this, I mean it, trust me, every muscle. Also, it's a bonding experience for all the other greats. But here's Thomas, let's hear what he has to say. I like swimming because I got to make some friends that I never thought I would ever have. Plus, I get to leave class early. So, it's not all work and no pay. We also get a lot of rewards and the rewards can either be like in the form of a swimming day or just in general and our fav my favorite swimming highlight has to be the inter house garden here we not only represent our different houses all the marshals that's here but we also support each other and motivate each other to do our best in the swimming pool so he has a taste of high school i'm going to be good at yes guys you heard you heard the, what did she say there's an inter house swimming too and let me tell you guys at Interhouse Swimming, there's the three teams, right? You know them, you love them. 
and Marshall's the best, none of my business. But yeah, we're gonna give you a little taste, you know, a little taste of what you can get with the war cries when you're at the summer winter house swimming. Ma'am, please hold this first as we give our war cries. Next year. We wish you well and see you then. Bye! Yeah.